So if you've been using Canva, you may have already found this, but myself, I had not up until this week. So what am I talking about? Well, we all know that Canva is a fantastic tool for creating graphics, uh, videos, animations for any type of your marketing. So I was recently asked to present at an online summit and that meant I had to make a presentation. So prior to this, I was using um, Keynote uh, and then before that, PowerPoint. So if you use any of those tools, you become familiar with which one is your favorite. So I knew that there were templates in Canva for presentations. So I went in there and I simply typed in presentation, just like you see here. Uh, and then I got a ton of templates, right? So you go and you look through it and you, you find the one that you like. So I went and did that uh, and I started to, to play with it. Now, up until this point, I was like, okay, I'm going to build the slide images and then I'll export those and put them in the keynote, right? Pretty simple. So let's go just for the sake of this and let's just pick one. Here's one that looks like Mario, if you're, you're a Mario fan back in the 90s. Um, and how it all works is you've got different templates. So there's 14 of them you can choose from for the different slides. And you simply go add a page, pick that slide and so forth, right? You go through and you can build your slides just like you would with anything in Canva. You can do the animations and everything like that. And I was about to export when I looked up here and I saw the percent button and I was like, hmm, what's this? So I click on it and I get some options. So there's standard autoplay. And then I saw presenter view. There's also presenter record, which I haven't tested yet, um, but presenter view. And when I click on this, now this would require two screens, which I have set up. I have screen on the right side, which you can't see in this recording. But what I ended up doing was I drag this block here over to the other screen. And then I hit this button that says enter full screen. And it puts that whole screen in full screen mode. That is the presenter view. Then when I'm on my Zoom presentation, I share that other monitor. Now here's the cool part. I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw this over here. Let's enter full screen. And then the presenter view here, you have a full presenter view built right in Canva. Now you might be like, hey, Sean, I already knew that, but I didn't at the time. So if you didn't know this, this is something that's pretty cool. You can just enter, you know, enter over um, with your arrows and flip through the slides. Uh, you'll see this is what is on the pre presentation screen here. This is what's upcoming. If you add any notes, they'll show up here. Um, and then you also have the timer up here. Now, when you go in presenting mode, the key with this is the timer is going to start, but you can click this and say reset presentation, uh, presentation timer. So this is cool because it's, it's looking at my camera is right here. And this is the one that I look at. Um, this monitor on the right side is the one that is being streamed out. And this is the one that I keep on the screen. So I have a running view of this time right in front of me. I'm looking at the camera and I can see on the screen here, um, what's coming up. I'll see the notes on that slide and everything. So simply I can just go reset timer when I start talking, uh, and then play and it's good to go that way. So pretty cool with that. There's magic shortcuts in here for different things. Um, you know, confetti, these are, so these are like buttons you'd press on the keyboard. Let's just give one a try here. See, Oh, so you don't see it, but on the right side, it just streams confetti down on the presentation. So there's some cool stuff in here. Uh, mic drop, I don't know what that does. Oh, it just brings the microphone in the screen. Now, again, you can't see that. That is over on the other side. It doesn't show it on this side here. So uh, aside from that, um, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, you can hide the magic cursor. And what that is, is when you bring your mouse over on the screen, there's like a little blue dot, just like you're seeing here. Um, and it actually just goes around. So if you got graphs and you want to show them what it is that you're talking about, that'll show up that way. Canva, I mean, you're blowing my mind here. This is fantastic. And if you haven't found this, go check it out. If you don't even have a Canva account, check the link in the video below. And, and lastly, if you have a question about anything about Canva, I'm in it almost every single day. Throw it in the comments down below the video, and I'd be happy to answer your question. If I don't know the answer to it, I can direct you in the right way to find that answer. And as always, if you found this helpful and valuable, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.